All right, guys, welcome to the YouTube debut of Shot in a Shotgun. We've been doing this for a little bit on Snapchat, um, but we're, we're uh, moving to YouTube and uh, we're just gonna dive right in. I'm Dan, uh, we chug booze and make bets, and that's what we're here to do today. Uh, we have a pretty full slate of college football today, even with all the COVID cancellations. Um, so almost no SEC today, uh, but a lot of Big Ten games. Pac-12 is back in action, so uh, let's get to it. Um, as you can see, Penn State, been a rough season so far. Uh, they are three-point favorite at Nebraska today. Uh, neither of these teams are particularly good, and for that reason, uh, it's tough betting the spread on this one. Uh, it's tough taking money line on this one. What I do think is going to hit is over 56 and a half points because neither of these teams are very good at playing defense. Uh, hopefully Penn State can get their first win of the season. Starting at 0-3 is not good, not fun, but if we can make some money today on the over, we'll be happy about that. Uh, Miami-Virginia Tech. This game, Tech has been a favorite all week. The line has moved from about, I think it opened at 2.5. It's down to a about, uh, I think Virginia Tech, is, it's actually moved the other way. Virginia Tech is at plus uh, half a point this morning. Miami is a top 10 team. The fact that they were getting points at Virginia Tech should tell you something. Um, I I say take Tech with the points or the money line. They're both at minus 113 this morning. Um, but th there's something going on there. It doesn't seem right. Miami they're okay but they they have really the past few years especially have just been choking to death so I like Virginia Tech today uh Indiana Michigan State Michigan State is awful Indiana is actually pretty good even though I still think Penn State should have beat them maybe they did beat them who knows but Indiana has a pretty good team Michigan State does not Indiana that lines at seven and a half right now I love it they're going to cover seven and a half points um Illinois Rutgers. Rutgers, surprisingly, is infinitely better than they have been in years. Uh, Illinois, I thought, would be a little bit better than, they, than they've showed this season, but they stink. So we like Rutgers minus six today. They're at home. I think they cover that pretty easy against Illinois. Uh, Illinois has got no defense, and like I said, Rutgers is a bad team. Appalachian State at home against Georgia State. Uh, App State minus 17 and a half right now. I love it. I, I think it's an easy win for them. Um, I think they're going to be able to cover that pretty easily. They've looked pretty good this year. They put up points. They cover big numbers. So App State minus 17 and a half. Notre Dame Boston College. This game was uh, Notre Dame minus 13 and a half uh, a couple days ago. And I loved Boston College. Uh, at plus 13 and a half, they're playing at home. They've looked a little bit gutty, gutsy this year so far. They look good against Clemson for at least a half, but I thought they might be able to cover that. That line's come down to minus 11 and a half. Uh, I, don't, I don't love it, um, but, it, you know, Notre Dame being ranked number two is one of the big games of the week, so I figured we'd talk about it. Um, it maybe take them at, 11, at minus 11 and a half. If, if you can tease it down, I mean – even four points, you bring it down four points, I think Notre Dame covers that. 11 and a half is a big one. Maybe they win by 10, so maybe even take it down two points. But uh, this could be a letdown game for them. That's why I don't think it's going to be a blowout. But um, I think they'll cover 10. So you get it. You take it a nine and a half, go for it. Purdue Northwestern, um, both these teams are actually pretty good. Uh, this game is at home for Purdue. Purdue right now is plus three and a half points. Uh, I think they're pretty evenly matched. I I like Purdue a little bit more than Northwestern, even though Northwestern has looked pretty good this year. I I like I like Purdue with the points. I, I think they're probably going to win this game, but I like them with the points for sure. Wisconsin and Michigan. I loved Wisconsin at minus four and a half. It's now minus six and a half. I'm not really in love with that. This is is like an all time must win for Michigan, and you you have no idea what you're going to get with this team. They are playing in Michigan. Obviously, with COVID, it's not the same thing. You don't have, you know, 110,000 people there going crazy. 
then I probably am all in on Michigan just because of how badly they need this win. I mean, th this could be what – they lose this game, this might be the end for Harbaugh. Uh, so I, I think they definitely have to win this game. I, I, Wisconsin is a better team. They are a better team. But – I, I don't like I don't like I don't like spread at all. So I'm going over 51 and a half points. I think they hit that pretty easy. Oregon, Washington State, um, over 57 and a half. It, they don't play defense out west. Uh, they're always it's pretty much always high scoring games in the Pac-12. They uh, they both scored at least I think uh, Washington State scored 35 and Oregon Oregon scored 38 last week. So I think this one goes over 57 and a half pretty easy. Um, you never know with these guys. This could be like a 10 overtime game, but I think they go over 57 and a half pretty easy. Now, uh, out of those picks, we're going to pick one pick that is the shot in the shotgun lock of the week. It's tough. The three games that, uh, that are kind of contending for that right now are Indiana minus seven and a half, Rutgers minus six, and App State minus 17 and a half. I think uh, just because I think it's an easier number to hit, and the competition is is not there. I think we're going with Rutgers minus six for the shot and shotgun lock of the week. In this house, we drink wild turkey one on one. We drink every kind of beer, but today we're drinking Bush throwback classic. So here we go. Rutgers minus six. That is the shot and shotgun lock of the week. Let's fucking go.